All right, some of you guys were confused on these because when you added the fractions, you found that it was more than one, and that's okay. We don't really care about that, even though it should. And on the test, it should, so. All right, so there are 30 marbles in the back. Two-thirds of them is red. One-fifth are purples. And four-fifteenths are yellers. And he draws out a marble and records the color, returns it to the bag, and repeats the process 20 Juan times. So exact, approximately how many times would we expect old Tommy to draw a red marble? Well, uh, we got uh, two-thirds of them is red. We know these. So theoretically speaking, if we look out of 21 drawers, we can solve these like we would a proportion. Uh, now you could use fish method or cross multiplication or means and extremes or streams of beans. Uh, I would just use a scale factor on these because I know right away that 3 times 7 is 21. So if I do 2 times 7, I would find that we would expect him to draw 14. Bam. What? Wrong. If you write this on the test, it's wrong. you got to label it 14 red marble. Bam, there we go. We don't really need to know that there's 30 marbles. I mean, if we wanted to know how many of each there was, that's fine. But again, since the fractions are off, you'd find there's actually more than 31 marbles. So, and that's okay. So, but, but, but we're all it's, all, it's all good. If we need to use that 30, we'll see in this. Yeah, we won't need to use it in the next one either. So the instruction said to write each, pro, uh, each probability as a fraction, decimal, and percent. Uh, while this one is an expected value, it's not a fraction, decimal, or percent. Suppose Tommy Boy did the same experiment 6,000 times. So again, we want to know how many we would expect him to draw a red marble. Now we're going to expect him to draw two-thirds of the times because two-thirds of the marbles is red. And this should be equals to some number of reds out of 6,000 drawers. So again, you could use the fishing method if you wanted. 6,000 times 2 divided by 3... Bam. 4,000. So how many times? 4,000 times. How do we know how to do a two-thirds? Because it says two-thirds of them is red. So if you would use the 14, 21st, you would have 14 right account and 21 right account. But it is an equivalent fraction, so they're all proportional. Which of the two approximations is likely to be the most accurate? The more times you do it, the more likely it will be accurate. So clearly, it would be the 6,000 6, times. Explain why. Why? Why? Explain why. I know how. Draws or times, whatever. Can you please explain why? So once again... It is because the more often you do it, or the more experiments that you try, the more accurate it will become. But why? No, that one's wrong, that one's wrong. Because uh, if you only draw 21 times, it's possible you could have maybe drawn like two. Oh, because it's Two bad. reds. But the more often you try it, the more likely the actual probability will reveal itself. Yeah. 